Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to take 12 items of clothing and create 24 outfit ideas for spring. I really love doing these videos because if anything, it's just a reminder for me that I don't need tons of clothing to create lots of outfits. And it's also a great chance to be a little bit more creative with my pairings and put together pieces that I may not have otherwise worn. I'll be sharing in today's video as many style tips as I can and just talking you through the thought process so that you can go and recreate these in your wardrobe. And I've specifically chosen out fairly simple pieces that you can definitely droop and recreate in your wardrobe. I'm so happy today to be working with Majuri again. So I will be using the jewelry pieces to accessorize my 24 outfits in today's video. Let's start off today with what is in my 12 piece capsule. The first item I chose is a simple tank top. I've had this in my wardrobe for ages, but I didn't wear it often because I felt like it was too long. So I just took my scissors and like cut off half of it. And now I have a cute little cropped tank top. I have a sewing machine so I can fold up the edges and just sew it down. But to be honest, um, even the raw edge doesn't bother me too much. If you're not a tank top person, you can definitely swap this out with another basic like a t-shirt. I'm showing some alternative pieces today where if I was making a capsule, I probably wouldn't keep both, but I do love them both and I thought I would show you side by side what the difference in look would be. The next piece is a really simple white top, but it's got this like asymmetrical detail. This is actually an exercise top that I wear for like yoga, pilates, gym, but I really like this asymmetrical detail. I like that it's very form-fitting, which is contrast some of the pieces that I've chosen out today. If you're not into this really fitted gym wear top, I'm also showing you what these outfits will look like with a one shoulder top instead. This one is from Arquette. Both of these tops have asymmetrical details, but they are very, very different in the look. I have three blouses and the first of them is a navy one. This one's from End of the Stories and it's just the cutest little broidery blouse with a collar. I like that it has a little bit of a puff sleeve, which feels very feminine, but at the same time, it's also super, super simple and classic to pair with um, pretty much anything I've got here. On the other hand, this is definitely more of a casual blouse. This is a white, another broidery blouse, but this one has got more of an open back. The back is so fun and so detailed. It's also got fluted sleeves and just a lot happening. What I noticed when I was putting together this video is that I have a strong color palette in my wardrobe. I have a lot of white, navy, and blue Blues. So I really wanted to break things up at least a little by bringing in this sage or beige color. I would consider this color incredibly neutral. It's not very warm at all, but when you put it against the blues, it does feel like it brings a certain warmth into an outfit. I'm sure they will be, but I don't want all of my outfits to be blue. Here is a sweatshirt from Colorful Standard, probably about three years back. I really like the fit of this sweatshirt, not too oversized or boxy, but still roomy enough to be comfortable. This is the piece that is going to help dress down anything that feels too formal or too fussy. Since I didn't choose out any jeans for today's capsule, I went for a denim shirt. This one I felt like would be super versatile because I can wear it as a jacket, I can wear it as a shirt. So I could see that there were quite a few ways to wear this, so I brought it into this capsule. The sweatshirt and the denim shirt are both ultra casual, so I've chosen out the Cezanne Betty knit to be a more versatile item. This item can be worn, of course, casually, but it also looks more put together than both of those pieces. So we're just adding a bit of versatility with this jacket. This is an incredibly kind of simple and plain edit right now. So I wanted to add in a stripe knit. Not only do we have the stripes, but we've got some button details and a stripe for me is an absolute must. I feel like all year round, so this of course, is included. I chose out three bottoms and I really paid a lot of attention to not choosing the same shape. So not choosing three pairs of trousers or three slip skirts. I wanted a variety. One of the pieces is a floral skirt and this one is from Garni via The Outnet. It's got green, blue, red and pink on it. It's got a lot of colors that are also maybe slightly clashy I feel like together. It's a really beautiful shape, a very fun print and I wanted to see the ways I could style it for some spring outfits. This skirt is also long and dark like the Ghani one, but this one has a very different shape. It fits a lot closer to the body. It's a lot more delicate in the look. So when you wear the two skirts, the outfit will be completely different. The final piece I've chosen out is a wide leg pant from Uniqlo. A pair of wide leg trousers is also in my year round capsule. And I felt like I had to include at least one. Jewelry 
Body can be an incredibly transformative accessory if you're putting together an outfit with simple pieces. I chose out a small jewelry capsule to use throughout today's video when I'm styling my outfit. And each of these pieces serve one function or another in elevating an outfit, whether that was through shape, through color, or through texture. The earrings that I'm wearing right now are definitely a statement piece, but I do love to have hoops or round shapes around my face. When I saw this earring in my outfit, I feel like if the outfit doesn't have any very unique proportions, this earring is able to bring that unique element into the look. These rings are also from the same collection. I mix the gold and silver together because I love to mix metals. It's made from sterling silver, and then the gold one is made from gold vermeil. If I wanted to add to an outfit and I wanted to use shape, then I would definitely choose these earrings and these rings. On the other hand, if I wanted to add texture, through my jewelry, these are some of the pieces I would choose. One of the pieces is this mini pearl necklace. So worn in today's outfit, it actually adds a contrasting color. But if I wear it with white or a neutral tone, it just adds a little bit of that pearl texture into the look. The snake chain is also great at adding texture. It's very, very shiny. And if you look up close, it's got this like textural design on the chain as well. We've also got these larger pearl hoops. Because the pearls are more on the irregular side, they add a lot of texture into any outfit. So these are also one of the pieces that I love to use. And then finally, one of the ways I love to use jewelry is to add color. So that's where this beaded necklace comes in. It's got a stunning combination of red, gold, black, and white. And this just adds that pop of red into any outfit. And it's something that I've been using a lot in my outfits. It's the same reason why I've been wearing this emerald ring. It just adds a little bit of green into more neutral looks. You can use jewelry to add shape, to add texture or color into any outfit. And I repeatedly use my jewelry in today's video to help complete my outfit as you're about to see. If any of these pieces catch your eye, I will have them linked down below as well as my 10% off code for your first order. For my first look, I'm pairing a really fitted white top with my floral skirt. And throughout the day, I often have slightly different variations of a look. In the morning, I might be wearing this look with a sweatshirt because it's colder. During the day, I might take it off, throw it over my shoulder because I am in between. And then at the end of the day, I might just be wearing the short sleeve top as it is. What I wanted to do when styling this skirt was to pull different colors from the print. There is a little bit of a blue color on the print of the skirt, so I matched that to the sweatshirt. My Loewe puzzle bag even has a little bit of sage to it. And I chose the bag to tie in with the print as well because the print has, of course, the sage green. to keep my outfits realistic. There are definitely days where I want to wear sneakers and maybe go a little bit more comfy loungy with my top. So this is a pretty typical outfit for me that's realistic for my lifestyle. I decided to go for these sneakers over my New Balance because they're a lot more tapered and sleek versus the chunkier style of the New Balance. This tank top and cardigan look for me is very everyday and I like that we're toning down the skirt a little bit with this very everyday combination. And then for something that is a little bit more interesting though, I wanted to bring in my metallic bag. I was meeting a friend for lunch, but it wasn't like too dressed up. I would do this like tank top skirt combination, maybe put on some big earrings to bring some shape into the look, and then maybe just pair it with some metallic texture so it's not so plain. I would really like to point out that the slides I'm wearing here are dark brown and not black. I think this makes a huge difference for me because the dark brown just brings a bit of warmth to all the blues that I'm wearing here. I'm wearing a denim shirt tucked into the floral skirt and this is kind of like a combination I see all the time on Pinterest. Denim shirt and florals. The next look I feel like could be a little bit too much but I learned this trick from um, Amy Smilovic, the founder of Tibi. I did it during a summer holiday once in Bali and I really liked it. It's where you take a shirt and you tie up the ends. You get these little like knots at the end of your shirt and it's just another way to wear a simple shirt. For me here, I felt like if I wore the shirt as a jacket, it was a bit too long. So this was a way for me to cinch up the jacket and make it cropped. I feel like I'm gonna put myself on a little bit of a band in terms of navies and these like medium muted blue tones. I clearly gravitate towards it 
and I feel like there's just there's just enough of it now. In this outfit, I wanted to pull out some of the sage colors on the print of the skirt. So I pair it with my little wrap top. This wrap top is quite voluminous. So with this skirt, which also has a little bit of like ruffling, I feel like it could be a bit much. But because it ties in really tightly at the waist, and because I just really wanted a color that wasn't blue, I still think this look is very fresh in the color palette. About a year ago, I came across a girl styling stripes and florals on Pinterest, and I've been recreating this look since then. It's one of those looks I started off recreating, and then it became like a permanent rotation combination in my wardrobe. So here, I just feel like it's so fun to pair these things together, and then I also really like adding the white t-shirt inside the navy top. That simple color showing brings a cleanness and a simplicity, I feel like, to a very maximal combination. This look is funny because I actually put on this navy top to tell you guys, I, I probably wouldn't do, you know, broidery with the skirt because they're both feminine, but I put it on over the white t-shirt and I actually quite like it. I think I would wear this. My next little set of outfits are styling the wide leg trousers. Hey guys, so after filming this video, I feel like I made a bit of a mistake choosing out the trouser. Because I chose out a lot of tops that were either voluminous or more structured, if I pair it with the wide leg trousers made from that thicker fabric, it actually feels too bulky. So instead of all of these outfits, I want to show you side by side what they would look like with the Uniqlo trousers and then what they would look like with a linen trouser that is lighter and more flowy. I'm always learning more about my personal style and this is just one adjustment I wanted to make so I like the outfits more and so they feel more balanced. Why I chose this tee is because I could wear it like this. It's very form-fitting and it contrasts the pant really well. I use my accessories to bring some softness and balance into the look. So I've got the little silk scarf, um, firstly tied around my neck. And then for another look, I would tie it around my bag. These are just little ways to use the silky fabric to make the look feel maybe a bit more delicate, less boxy. Instead of wearing a traditional belt, I play around with some silk scarves here and using them as belts. If I feel like a look is already bulky, I don't want to use like a thicker leather belt to cinch in my outfit but I also don't want to leave it uncinched. So the scarf is the perfect solution in these cases. I've had these loafers in my wardrobe for quite a while now and I don't really feel like I've worn them enough because I'm just like not super sure how I like to wear them. Since we've got the oversized pant with the chunky shoe, I just use the fitted tank top um, to bring some proportion in. In spring weather, you probably won't leave the house without a jacket, so I've gone for my smallest, most cropped jacket, which is the Betty cardigan, over something like a sweatshirt or over a denim shirt, both of which would completely overwhelm, I think, this look. I'm styling the denim shirt with the white trousers here, and it is a bulky look, it is a boxy look, so I've tried to make the best of this combination with these small details. Fin belt that matches the color of the pants, so we're not breaking up any lines and the fin belt is a lot less overwhelming than a medium or thick belt would be. My favorite thing about this look is how realistic it is and how much I wear this combination in real life. I like using the pop of color in the shoe here and I also of course like the t-shirt on the inside. Finally, we've got another really realistic look, this time with the sweatshirt instead of the knit. I feel really good in outfits where maybe I'm wearing something really simple and loungewear inspired, like a sweatshirt, and then I pair it with something that's the opposite, like a tailored trouser. That combination just always feels very good on, in a way that just creates a bit of irony and friction that I love. The next little set of outfits features my slip skirt, and these are some of my favorite looks. Um, but a lot of these also lean a little bit more spring towards summer. If an outfit doesn't have a lot of print or color, texture to me is everything. So in this look, here are all the textures I've used. Sheen is in the top, a snake chain. We've got the embossed kind of texture on the sandal. The bag has both a pebble texture, but also like a smooth handle. And We've got silkiness. Textures always inspire me, and without it, if it was just like a white tee with a navy skirt, I would honestly be so bummed out by the lack of interest. In this look, we've got more shapes, so it's shaped through the earring. We've got the acne masubi bag, which has a very unique kind of 
shape in the sides. I haven't talked enough about the asymmetrical detail, but that's definitely a feature that elevates this look. I'm the biggest fan of being hands-free. I usually wear a mini bag, so if I take on my jacket, I gotta hold it. So often if I'm wearing a shirt, I would just knot it around my waist. This is an outfit I feel like is so perfect. If I'm kind of by the beach, if I'm at the park, at a place that's really casual, this feels like it fits in really well. I like being hands-free and I'm gonna do this more. I'm gonna do this with my denim shirt more. With this top, I haven't been able to wear it as much as I would like, but this is the outfit that I feel like this top is made for. It's quite a voluminous piece, so it pairs perfectly with a more fitted slip skirt. This color that's kind of in between that beigey tone, but also like a green sage, I think goes really well with the navy. It feels very fresh, especially because I wear navy with white too much. I'm adding that red Majuri necklace, and I think the red sage and navy is a color combination I'm just kind of remembering to recreate for the future as well. I was really getting bored at this point, so I'm bringing in more accessories. I've added in a straw hat. The straw has that beigey tone to it, so of course, warming up the navy and white. Expect to see some more hats. I've been trying to wear more hats um, to protect, I guess, my skin from the harsh sun. So that is something you might start seeing more. Hopefully. With this really simple tank top look, I was thinking about which accessories I could add to bring in that warmth and color. I thought of this scarf because it's made from a cotton linen material, very, very lightweight. And in the spring, it's probably a little bit too cold to wear the tank top alone. So the scarf comes in here. A more realistic combination would be wearing this look with a sweatshirt and then doing up the scarf so it's a bit shorter, it's a little bit less fiddly. And then I just don't want things like hanging off me too much. So this is a more realistic look, still wearing the scarf. Again, it is linen. I think you can tell in real life that it is light. So it doesn't look too out of place for spring or even like summer. I feel like it's not so bad because it is so, so, so light. Even though we don't have a lot of dressy pieces, you can easily go for a tonal look, add on a pair of heels, a little clutch bag or chain bag, and you will be ready to go out to a slightly more polished event or just like a dinner. I didn't get to wear the denim shirt by itself really without tying it up or knotting it. So I wanted to do that here. We've got a long line shirt look, but I think it works okay because the skirt is more fitted. And this is why I love wearing slip skirts. It allows me to wear these more oversized shapes on the top. It's a real problem solver in my wardrobe. It just helps balance out so many proportions that otherwise could have been hard to wear. If I was to do this again, I would change out those white pants for a linen or silk option. I should have also chosen the blouse that was a little bit more silky and flowy because a lot of the pieces I chose out were cotton or more structured or sweatshirts and things that had already quite a bit of shape to them. A huge thank you to Majuri for working with me in today's video. It is always such a pleasure to work with a brand that I feature in all of my videos. So whether I work with them or not, I feel like they just pop up in all of my outfits and all of my styling. If there was anything that caught your eye, I have a 10% off code for your first order. And then I also have all the pieces I showed in today's video linked down below as well. I'll see you all very soon because I do have another video coming up this weekend. So I'll see you then. Bye.